Ladies and gentlemen and dudes of all teenagers, Cyrex is back once again with another call out video. He's tired of the trolls, he's tired of the hate, and he's tired of not being able to live his life peacefully online like he deserves to do. In this video he's going to lay it all out, his true and honest feelings that he has against us, and I think it's only fair that we stop and listen and try to actually understand the mind of Cyrax. Before we go into it, just let me tell you, he's going to project a lot, he's going to fake cry a lot, and he's just going to lie a lot. But I mean, it's Cyrax, so we already understand that. Anyways, let's get it. Yeah, I'm in here thinking about this. Okay, sorry. One more thing before we start, but I promise this is the last thing. I'm going to try to cut down the little empty spaces where he's just kind of blankly staring. Unless it's really funny, because let's be honest, his little fake cries and his little goblin stares do make us laugh. But... It can be a little bit, you know, tedious. So if you want to watch the original video, it's over on Inward Boys channel. So I'm going to link the video in the description if you want to see that. All right. Now, let's go. Quite a bit. And yes, I'm posting this to Facebook. And I know that you trolls over on YouTube are probably going to see this. And that's okay because I want you to see it. You know, what y'all did to me fucking hurts. A lot. Because of you guys, I'm facing a lot of fucked up stuff that I shouldn't have to face. But the one thing I can't seem to figure out is this. Y'all tell me that you want me to do better. Y'all tell me that you want me to work, but yet... When I get a fucking job, when I get a job doing something I love to do, whether that be a live streaming, creating my own content, doing something to make money, y'all want to take that away from me, Marty. Y'all want to take that away from me and I don't understand it. So here he goes again with the job thing. Cyrax. If you've never made money from something, you've never made a living, it does not matter if you think it's fun or whatever, it's not a job or a career or anything, it's just a hobby. So you live streaming or doing whatever you did to make whatever money, I know it was something about, I was audio engineering for a game, bitch, and, and, and you took it away. I don't, and the guy, I think the guy like left because he found out he was a pedophile. Uh, that's not a job, dude. Like, you never filled out a job application. You've only seen other people work. You sit there and you watch all these inspiring stories online and you just kind of take from them and like, I did that. They worked hard. I work hard too. It's like, you never worked hard in your life, man. I, I don't... The hardest thing you've probably ever done in your life is some math homework back in high school because you don't know what the fuck 2 plus 2 is. But anyways, yeah, just... I don't get it. And if anybody ever donated to him when he was streaming, what the fuck is wrong with you? Did you like his content? Did you just feel bad for him because the way he looks? I'm not going to lie. I, I started this maybe in quarantine. And when I first saw him, I was like, there's no way. I just, I don't have it in me to learn about this weirdo. But then one day out of sheer boredom, I just found a couple YouTubers who made a, some digestible videos about it. And I was like, oh, maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe, maybe I should, you know, dabble my feet into it a little bit. And I got hooked. And a couple years later, here we are. Oh man, he's trying his hardest to cry. What the fuck? Every time I do something to make money, you guys want to take away from me, and I don't understand why. I don't understand why y'all can't just leave me the fuck alone and mind y'all's goddamn fucking business. I don't understand it. <laughs> Y'all don't know how much what you do affects people's lives, man. Y'all don't understand. Do you understand how you affected Billy's life or the kids that you talk to's lives? Come on now, Cyrex. Because of y'all trolls, man, I deal with anxiety. I deal with depression. Oh my god. I deal with panic attacks. Every day, every day that has been my life, constantly looking over my shoulder, not knowing if someone's going to shoot at me. You don't, you don't go outside. 
How are you looking over your shoulder if you don't go outside? What are you afraid Sally's gonna come in your room and just start beating the shit out of you like you did in 2012 to her? Come on now. Like, uh, he just makes no sense. He just lies. Like, you're not looking over your shoulder and the only time we ever seen you panic was when you were getting your ass whooped by Marty and when you were getting arrested by the cops, bro. Like, come on now. Have to worry about people stealing shit from my family. Stealing shit off our porch. Slandering my name. Calling me shit that I'm not. And I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it, dude. I'm sick of the bullying, man. I don't deserve this. Y'all don't know how many times I've laid down at night bawling my fucking eyes out until I fell asleep. Wanting it all to fucking stop. And y'all telling me to get off the internet? That don't fucking help nothing. Because all y'all do is sit there and attack me over and over and over again. And I'm tired of it. First point, how old is Cyrax again? He's like 32 and he's still complaining about bullying. Bro, you're, you're 32 years fucking old and you're talking about bullying? And then on top of it, you're crying your eyes out every night. Bro, we've seen you. You don't cry at all. You, we've never seen you shed a single tear. Even after you got beat up, you immediately went back online and started talking shit again. Not a single tear in your eyes. But no, mom, he almost killed me like I did to you, bitch. Jesus, I'm never going to let that go. Like, who does that to their grandma? And second point, he, he claims we slander him. We don't slander you. We clearly talk about your actions that you do oh you cause us you cause me to do it nobody can cause you to do anything you are in control of yourself someone can tell you to do something someone can do whatever and get you mad or whatever but if you let them cyrex listen this is me actually trying to reason if you let them get to you and you let them push your buttons enough to make you out of your right mind and cause chaos in your lifestyle or your life then that's still on you i know he's not going to listen and i probably know he's not going to hear this but it's just for anybody out there. But he's going to keep blaming all his actions on other people. The common denominator is you, not us. You are in control of your own actions, regardless of what you may think. You want the real pedophiles? You want the real evil people? Look at yourselves. Look at Marty. Look at yourselves? Bruh, I might watch anime, but don't put that on me. Come on now. Look at Masshole, look at Tony, those are the real fucking pedos, those are the real, y'all are the real evil motherfuckers, not me. And how are we evil for talking about you? Oh, cause we're bullies? Oh, that, yeah, I forget, yeah, cause it's, it's cause we're bullies, guys. Yeah, bullying's evil, bullying's more evil than being a pe apparently, sorry, PDF file. Y'all really don't understand. Oh man, stop doing that, please. Y'all sit there and say that I'm fake and crying, but dude, I'm telling you right now, I'm not. It's just I've cried so much over the years that it's hard for me to even produce any fucking tears anymore, man. Because I have bawled my eyes out so fucking much. I have cried so many fucking times wanting this shit to stop. Because of y'all, I've lost friends. People that I was fucking close to. People that I saw as family. Like Nylet. My little brother Jake stopped talking to me. Mm, yeah, baby daddy Jake stopped talking to you. Yeah, well there's a reason why. It's because you're too much to handle, dude. You don't own up to any of your actions at all. You don't know the consequences of your action, which will never be the same. Uh, but it's just too much to handle. And you, you just bring toxicity and negativity to people's lives. You're bringing trolls to his doorstep because of your actions. No, no, it was the trolls. Common denominator. Come on now, Rex. Let's learn together. Let's learn our fractions together. Also, Jake, ew, bro. Like, you really... Uh, never mind. Oh god, this is nasty, dude. We've all seen his racks hole with that pen, with that stylus. You know, I have a drawing tablet now. Every time I look at my stylus, I just think of him. It's disgusting. My best friend Sean doesn't hardly talk to me no more. Y'all really don't understand the damage that you guys fucking do to people. What you guys do pushes people to suicide. No, shut the fuck up. Rex, you've told people to all the time 
You've told people your life, the world will be much better if you just fucking put a bullet to your head, bro. That's you, Rex. I've never said that to anybody at all, ever. I couldn't imagine saying that to somebody, but you say that shit almost every week. It really does. And a couple years ago, y'all almost pushed me to that point. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's fucked up. Oh, here he goes again. Here I go again. Y'all almost oh, pushed no. me to that point, man. I love that edit right there. Also, didn't Sally walk in when he had the stylus to his neck and she just walked completely out? He's like, I'm gonna do it, and she just fucking walked away. What you guys do to people is fucking wrong, dude. It's wrong. Mm, yeah, he's got a white Billy's coom off right there. You know, all I've ever done was try to help people. That's all I've ever tried to do was help people, man. That's all. Help people and mind my business. That's it. Not bother nobody, not harass anyone. Just try to help people through my music and my artwork. And doing gaming videos, and that's it. That's all I've ever tried to do is make something of myself. Look, I'm sorry I gotta keep pausing it, but he's just saying such outrageous things. Like, name Cyrex, name two people you've helped ever, ever. And what do you, and you, I've never harassed anybody. That's a lie. You're crazy, man. You're 43. I'm not crazy. Yes, you are. I've never, I've never seen this level of craziness, you know, and I've lived with people who are crazy. And, 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 oh, I've tried to help people with my music. Your music is negative, bro. You're like, you diss people in your songs. The only positive stuff that you ever like put in your song was a stolen poem about an actual victim that you just took and put the words mother effer and stuff in there, which is completely messed up. Like you've never helped a single soul in your life. And you know that I help my family. I protect my family, bro. You couldn't even protect, <laughs> you couldn't even protect them from one guy in a mask and a, and a sign. Your, your mom's like, get back in the house, get back in the house. And you listen to her. There's no helping. You didn't help anybody. Uh, it's so tempting to just like, ah, uh, you know, and I can't say that. No, it's just, he's just crazy. I, I don't know what else to say. He's just fucking crazy. Isn't it amazing though? Isn't it just awesome? But now because of you guys, I'm facing court. When I shouldn't have to be. I shouldn't have to face a fucking judge in court because y'all want to come to my house and harass my family and press charges when I had every reason to do what I did because that man showed up here to my house after threatening my family and putting my family's lives in immediate danger by getting our neighbors to come down there and get in our faces along with him. I didn't do nothing wrong. I was defending my goddamn family, dude. That's all I was doing. Cyrex, you can't attack people with a deadly weapon just because they stood outside of your house. That's not how it goes. If you really felt threatened, you should you would have been in, in the clear. You would have been in the clear had you just called the police and let them handle the situation. The sign ticked you off so much because you know it's the truth that you went out there swinging like Barry Bonds, bruh. Come on, I'm beating Barry Bonds, bro. I like that. Barry Bonds, bro. Anyway, sorry. The neighbor thing. You, do, you, do you guys think that maybe he's like actually a bug? Maybe his depth perception is messed up? So like maybe, maybe, because he says they got in his face, then it's super far away in the videos. Maybe he did see them like in his face because he's got like little raxed out bug eyes going on. And a quick side note. So for some reason, I just kind of assumed that aware of myself like actually did ring their doorbell at least and then just walk away. But apparently he didn't even do that. But even if he did, Cyrax, even if he did ring your doorbell, so do you just go out there attacking anybody who rings your doorbell? Because in one of his videos, he says he was on our porch, rang our door, or knocked on our door, and that's a crime. It's like, no, it's not. Like, are you going to attack Girl Scouts who knock door to door trying to sell you cookies, man? Like, you're fucking crazy. Y'all really don't understand the consequences of y'all's actions. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm perfect. I know I've made mistakes. Mm. Mistakes are what we're calling it now. I get that. But unlike y'all, at least I don't go around bullying people. I actually try to help people. Always have. 
I've always been that kind of person to go around helping people whenever they need it. But for you motherfuckers to go around and slander my name, harass me, say shit about me that ain't fucking true, base shaman. Base what? Me? What the fuck do I say about you that's not true, dude? Alright, that part right there is one of my favorite parts of this video. Just Not just because of uh, Shaman's reaction, but it means that he's at least aware that a lot of us come together and make fun of him every night. And he probably watches the videos and gets really mad about it, just sitting there probably being like, No! No, this isn't true! It's impossible! Like he's Luke Skywalker or something. Like, come on. Music Biz Marty, William Gloryhole, CVG, aware of myself, who's the one that showed up here? Every one of you guys is to fucking blame. Every fucking one of you. And you guys do it for the most disgusting reasons. You guys do it for money, views, and clicks. That's all. Because you want your little fucking views. You want your 15 seconds of fame. Yes, sir. Hey, if you're liking the video, please leave a like. Please leave a sub. That'd be greatly appreciated. Hey, also, comment some advice for Rax. Comment something down there to see if Rax can actually follow some rules or something. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being fucking bullied by you fucking asshole people. I shouldn't have to get off the goddamn internet because you guys fucking say to. It's not because we say so, Rex. It's because you left a stain on whatever disgusting legacy your family has. Like, that's why. Your actions have caused you to have to get off the internet. And it's not even getting off the internet. It's just stop making videos. Well, actually, that would be horrible for us. But why, does, why do you guys think he wants to be on the internet so bad? I, like, look. I am not a fan of social media, I don't really have social media, and I've never used it. Even back in school, like middle school, elementary school, Facebook was a thing, you know what I'm saying? And I did not like any of it. I had a Tumblr because a girl that I wanted to date really wanted me to have a Tumblr, and that was weird. But why do you guys think he wants to make videos so bad? Do you think it's because he feels he can't get a job? Because he doesn't want to work, he doesn't do anything, so it's not about the job, at least in my opinion. But why do you think he feels the need to even make these videos that we're reacting to right now? It blows my mind. It's, it's something I've never seen before. Actually, scratch that. We have seen that before with someone that we like to call Christian, which I make videos about too. And I make videos comparing him to Rax and seeing who does what better. Check it out. I did one recently. It's like an hour long and it'd be super cool if you watch it. Anyways, back to this fucking freak. Y'all should know. That when someone says leave them alone, you leave them alone. Is that what you did with Billy? Did you leave Billy alone? Hey, how how about Heather? When she's screaming at you to leave her alone, she says stop. Quiet! And you, you almost swung on her, but instead you hit the door. Did you leave her alone, Rex? No one deserves what y'all do to them. Hmm, okay. What about your grandma? Did she deserve getting beat in the back of the head because you want to go fuck something so good? You want to go get some wet? You want to get your dick wet? I don't deserve what y'all motherfuckers did to me. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, Chris Chan didn't deserve what y'all did to him. And I sure as fuck don't deserve what you guys do to me. All you guys do is bully and harass me over and over and over and over and over. And for what? Clicks and views which bring you guys in money. Because you guys are sick fucking assholes <laughs> that want to make money off of someone raging out. Yeah. Because you guys are sick freaks of nature that love to see people rage out. And that's wrong. <laughs> I'm so, uh, stop fucking act, stop acting crazy then. It's, it's simple. Ignore the trolls, man. You know, it's funny. You guys tell me to take responsibility for my actions, but why won't you take responsibility for yours? Huh? Why won't y'all take responsibility for y'all's actions? When are you guys going to fucking stop? Stop what? How many people have to get hurt? Hmm. Fuck it. How many people have to take their own lives before you fucking stop? 
Because of you guys, I am stuck inside every day. I can't go outside like I used to. The last time I picked up my camera to go outside and do photography was over a year and a half ago. Nothing's stopping you from doing that now. I can't go outside. I can't do the things that I used to do. I'm stuck inside all the time because of you guys. Because of you guys, I live with depression every day. I live with anxiety. <laughs> because of you guys, I have panic attacks almost daily. We've only seen you panic with the cops, man. Come on. And I'm tired of it. I don't understand why you trolls and you fucking internet bullies can't just leave me alone. So go ahead. Show this to the fucking prosecutor. Go ahead. Oh my god. Sally really wants him to go to jail. She does not give a shit that he's making these videos at all. My theory is that this is her ticket out and she just lets him do it because she's like the only way that she can non-physically get her out the get him out the house. Oh, it's starting to thunder outside of my house. Anyways, uh, so yeah, my theory is that Sally wants him actually out the house because she's tired of it and she doesn't feel like maybe she feels like this is her not taking the blame for kicking him out. You get what I'm saying? Oh, wow, that's very loud. It's scary. And he's sorry. Uh, so, yeah, because there's no way there's no way that someone's loving grandma who actually cares about them would just let him keep jeopardizing his future like this. First of all, she wouldn't let it even. First of all, she wouldn't have let it get to this point in the first place. Uh, I really hope you guys can't hear the thunder. Anyways, she wouldn't let it get to this point anyways. If I actually, if I had a son and he had the inclination to be online all the time and make a fool of himself and threaten people. First of all, if I, if I walked by his door and I heard him saying nearly any of the stuff that Cyrax says online, I would, bur I would burst down the door and just like put him in a fucking figure four leg lock or something until he like forgave all his sins. But she lets him get online. There's a video, I think it's on either Inward Boy's channel or William Gloryhole's channel. And the cops come to the doorstep and she acknowledges, she's like, yeah, I got rid of my internet and he's just still on it. And she says something I think, like, oh, I think he's getting it from the neighbor. And she like laughs or giggles about it. I'm like thinking to myself, so she's aware of it and yet she shows no care for it, which is not her job to care. I mean, it kind of is because, you know, she's allowing him to live with her, but he's a grown man. The thing is, if you really care that your son may go to prison, you know, or be sent to a group home, you would stop it, right? You wouldn't just keep letting him doing the same thing, but she does. And here's the thing, when this all kind of started, people used to call Sally and say, hey, how you doing? I'm sorry you had to deal with him, blah, blah, blah. But throughout the years and stuff like that, she's continuously shown that she's just as bad as him when it comes to enabling him. And that's why the Akron Police Department have labeled them both as 43s. I don't know what they feel about Ed. I think Ed is just kind of there and it feels like, you know, the, the male obligation to protect his family, unlike Rax does. But he did set that line to aware myself where, you know, he's like, it's not on the books when aware myself uh, call Rax a PDF file. Which is not cool at all. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be on the books for you to be a Someone can be in the closet, a closet of pet for years and you would never know. That's how it happens, you know, it's sad. It's, it, a lot of times it's the family or it's the, you know, a family friend or a, a trusted teacher or anybody, you know, it, it's really genuinely sad. And that's when this stuff gets a little too real to the point where it's like, you shouldn't let Rax get you to the point where you want to beat the fuck out of him even though he does a lot for me and like, you know, between you and me, I'm from, and that's not that far from Akron, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you know, that's a little joke there, whoever's listening, uh, but it really isn't cool. And that's when, you know, all this locale stuff gets to the point where it's like, wait, I get it's funny and it's fun to point and laugh, but these are genuine, horrible people. You know, even with Chris Chan, people are always like, the trolls did it to him. And I'm an adamant person that's like, no, Chris deserves to be in prison. Not even just for the barb thing, but he's harassed so many people. I think that's a thing that people don't understand is that Chris was a sexual harasser years before the transsexual thing or the Sonic, the, the what is it, C19, what the fuck? 
Rick and Morty stuff. Oh, geez, that rain is really coming down. But he was really a bad dude, regardless if he thought he was. A lot of bad people don't think they're bad people, but you know, sadly they are. But that's all I have for this video. I don't want to go on a huge rant because I know sometimes that's off-putting for some people. Uh, I just like to get my two cents sometimes. But hey, still, if you like the video, please leave a like. That's super appreciated. Please comment something or subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and check out my other videos, man or lady, you know, or two dudes of all teenagers. I make music in the style of Rex because, you know, I saw how bad he was at it. So I started trying my hand and it's pretty fun. Uh, I, I make all the beats. You know, and I also let uh, I also released a, a video that's an hour long. It's round two of locale battles, including uh, Rax and Cyrax. Sorry, fuck me, Chris and Cyrax. Uh, and it'd be super appreciated if you watch that too. Anyways, peace, guys. Have a good one, and hey, be glad that you're not Sally or Rax.